In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. It is wonderful to gather with you here today and with those who are at home in order to celebrate this Mass in praise and glory of God's name. My name is Father Woody Pace. I am the pastor at St. John the Apostle Parish in Whitehall, uh, who is providing our liturgical ministries for today. So let us ask that God send his blessing upon us as we seek his forgiveness for our sins. Lord Jesus Christ, you are mighty King and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. You are Word made flesh, the splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen reading from the book of the prophet Malachi. Lo, the day is coming, blazing like an oven, when all the proud and all evildoers will be stubble, and the day that is coming will set them on fire, leaving them neither root nor branch, says the Lord of hosts. But for you who fear my name, there will arise the sun of justice with its healing rays. The Lord has turned the earth with justice. The Lord comes to rule the earth with justice. second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, you know how one must imitate us, for we did not act in a disorderly way among you, nor did we eat food received free from anyone. On the contrary, 
In toil and drudgery, night and day, we worked so as not to burden any of you. Not that we do not have the right. Rather, we wanted to present ourselves as a model for you so that you might imitate us. In fact, when we were with you, we instructed you that if anyone was unwilling to work, neither should that one eat. We hear that some are conducting themselves among you in a disorderly way, by not keeping busy but minding the business of others. Such people we instruct and urge in the Lord Jesus Christ to work quietly and to eat their own food. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, o Lord. Lord. While some people were speaking about how the temple was adorned with costly stones and votive offerings, Jesus said, All that you see here, the days will come when there will not be left a stone upon another stone that will not be thrown down. Then they asked him, Teacher, when will this happen? What sign will there be when all these things are about to happen? He answered, See that you not be deceived, for many will come in my name, saying, I am he. And the time has come. Do not follow them. When you hear of wars and insurrections, do not be terrified, for such things must happen first. But it will not happen immediately. It will not immediately be the end. Then he said to them, Nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be powerful earthquakes, famines, and plagues from place to place, and awesome sights and mighty signs will come from the sky. Before all this happens, however, they will seize and persecute you. They will hand you over to the synagogues and to prisons, and they will have you led before kings and governors because of my name. It will lead to your giving testimony. Remember, you are not to prepare your defense beforehand, for I myself shall give you a wisdom in speaking that all your adversaries will be powerless to resist or refute. You will even be handed over by parents, brothers, sisters, relatives, and friends, and they will put some of you to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but not a hair on your head will be destroyed. By your perseverance, you will secure your lives. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We are nearing the end of our liturgical year and the Feast of Christ the King when he will come in his glory and all the signs will take place. So what Jesus says to us today is something that we anticipate. And uh, as we anticipate them, it seems that fear rises in the hearts of humanity because over and over again, God gives the message, do not be afraid. Jesus even says, do not be terrified, but instead be calm and trust. It seems a message of the faith 
that in those times when everyone else will be scattering and running and trying to avoid what is happening, those who stand with the Christ will be firm and will be looking for his arrival. What is the source of that confidence? What is the source of that calm in a moment of fear? Jesus says that uh, we are to not even be wor worried or anxious about what we will say. Because when that time comes, Christianity practices its greatest asset, that it's contagious. There's something in it that calls people, beckons, and ultimately it is the person of Jesus Christ whom we await at that second coming, but whom we trust has made his dwelling place within us. So when everything else is falling apart, when all the signs are there, and the Christian stands calm, he will naturally beckon people to him. When the Christian stands confident, when everyone else is afraid, she will be attractive. And we pray that that happens even now. For when that moment comes, we are called to give testimony. So almost these great signs that may bring terror, but instead bring calm, are the very testimony itself. We hardly need to use words. When all around us we see the pressures and temptations of the world and the Christian is able to find joy and happiness even in situations where sorrow and fear may otherwise reign, people say, what is it that they have? I want some of that. Let me see. And when they begin to ask the question, we can answer and beckon them with the voice of Christ. Your perseverance, Jesus says, will secure your lives. So when others come, we say, let them come. When others turn from fear and anxiety to calm and peace and trust in God, then we welcome them. So let us with confidence then grow in our own faith and strength and let us seek to find ways to give testimony. And as we pray this, let us stand and ask that God strengthen our belief as we profess, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is Born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. My brothers and sisters, through the common prayer, let us pray to our Lord Jesus Christ, not only for ourselves and our own needs, but for all mankind. For all Christian people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who hold public office, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are not able to attend Mass in their parish church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
For all who call upon Christ in faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood and religious life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions submitted by our viewers at home, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we come before you with faith and love to praise your goodness and to acknowledge our need. We ask you to hear the prayers we make in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, O Lord, we pray that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal offering, covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and William our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer that same peace with one another. <laughs> Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold, him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass has ended. Thanks be to God. Our closing song is number 352, We Bring God's Holy Love, number 352. Hi everybody, Bishop Callahan here. Just a word of thanks for your support for the TV Mass. We sure are glad that you're with us weekly and certainly happy that you send in your prayers, your petitions, and all the various ways you participate in the, in the Mass itself. What I'm going to ask you is if, the, if you are able, please send in a contribution and uh, help us to defray the cost of the TV Mass. We would like to continue to bring these uh, masses to you and continue to help you to participate with us. So thank you, God be with you, and God reward you.